splitting up from Randy. Um, we're going to go a little farther to the northeast and hopefully glass up some of the elk we saw yesterday and some more. In the meantime, llamas are out enjoying the grass. We hope that our stove pipe doesn't fall over by the time we get back. I forgot my leather gloves, so I can't adjust it till it cools down. <laughs> it's like leaning down of stove pipe. So, uh, man, there's no wind, which up here there's almost always just 10, 15, 20 mile an hour winds. So it's really weird. But uh, I think we're going to see quite a bit of elk today. So that's what we're going to do this morning. And then we're going to come back to camp. We got in really late last night, so we got a little bit of camp organization to do and taking care of llamas. And then uh, Marcus and I are going to go uh, about three miles to the north tonight and see if we can find the, the big bull that we saw last night. So that's the plan. further down but there's usually elk right here so I just don't want to push our luck. I'll take what we can get and see if we can pull anything out. I really like to be over there but we'll save that for tonight. That's the plan. And right off the bat, looked at an old trusty spot. I found three bulls. I don't know if one of them is legal to shoot or not, but the other two are definitely legal shooters. One of them's a, a good looking, excuse me, one of them's a good looking six point. So, where I thought we'd see some down below, so we haven't yet. I feel like maybe, maybe they're wrapped around the other side of this hill here. But down in the bottom where all the snow is, there's a good amount of tracks. So that's really, really good. So we'll just keep glassing. Hopefully we can pick some of these guys up this morning. I was sitting here looking through that old loop with spotter and uh, geez, it's probably about four miles away. So uh, there's two guys. And it looks like they came in to glass up to where we're looking at and then they're headed out. So obviously they found elk. I'm pretty sure they found elk. And so, obviously, I think they'll hunt them in the morning and they'll push them all the way up to us. So, that's the plan. Using the pressure to your advantage. Dude, I can't wait to smell elk tomorrow. On the ground. I don't know if you know how excited I am to process my elk. I am freaking jacked. Yeah, I'm gonna do some sweet burger, and then uh, I'm gonna do some bratwurst, and then I'm gonna can probably all the whole entire front quarters. I would just be so jacked if I could shoot like a three and a half, four and a half year old bull. It'd be perfect. <clears throat> Even if he's a five point, I don't care. Well, 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 we just got done glassing. I don't know, it's probably around 10 a.m. now. We're gonna come back to, go to go back to camp, take care of all the llamas. We found nine bulls this morning, so that was pretty exciting. And uh, one pretty nice, good looking six point. We're gonna go take care of camp, eat lunch, and then uh, we're gonna go up on the high ridge to the north and go glass that section tonight so we can make a good game plan tomorrow.
good morning. Uh, really? How good? Nine bowls. Nine bowls. You believe that, Luke? Yeah, that's that's a uh, one. As you guys were crossing nine more the than saddle, we saw. yeah, I was like, I wonder if they can see them. And they're down to your right, three of them. Huh? But those are those they're, first tracks. They're so. basically on your same elevation, just to your. Yeah. So where the crown is, we were on the north side. They're on the south side. Yep. And uh, then we saw two mountain goats up on top. This is super cool. Well, that's good. You guys are seeing all bulls. That means that. Yeah. They're separated from the cows, and they're definitely in post rut mode. Yeah. More separated than I anticipated. Yeah, I expected to see some cows with bulls with them. But I think t I'm hoping tomorrow that we see all the herds in the bottom come up to the top of this. I think we all need to probably get on the pickled eggs, and <laughs> <laughs> they're good. All right. So, did we film that last night? Do that the people know? What's tell the, tell the pickled egg story? Yeah, so the pickled egg story is uh, last week we went on a hunt and we had terrible luck. Oh, I was like, well, you didn't bring any pickled eggs. And uh, pickled eggs is a family heritage. So on all of our hunts, we uh, have been doing it for, geez, a couple centuries actually. And so same recipe has been passed down. And uh, Grandma Effie Beatty's recipe is still kicking around in the mountains. And we're, uh, so anyway... Trying to get these guys. It's, it's good luck. It's is good luck. Saying? Pickled eggs and pickled uh, Polish sausage is good luck. So we we need some luck tomorrow. Huh. Ooh, there it is. Really? Oh yeah. I'm a big time hard boy. That's really good. He likes. I really like that. <laughs> Oh, I just told uh, Lucas that 80% of the crap I say is made up, so. And he says, as long as it's said it with conviction, it counts. Well, what are we about to do, though? Well, now I'll tell you about that. I want to tell you a little bit about my life first. He just tries to get right to the point Jumps too right much. right into it. No romance. Well, Lucas is a hard uh, charger here, and he wants to go find some elk. So it's afternoon, early afternoon, day before the opener, and we're going to go see if we can find... Uh, couple of bulls to find to shoot tomorrow find a good glassing spot and try to make a strategy for tomorrow morning so that's the plan you're done here we go Big, big bull. How far away? In that he is, let's see, one, about three and a half, four miles that, away, a long way away. Yeah, there's three bulls in there. It looks like a six point a raghorn and a really, really big bull. My goodness, one now. There's 21 elk over there. You got me. Isn't that how it goes? That's a long ways away. It'd take us five hours to get there. It's all up and down. 
Holy smokes. Randy's going to be pumped up. Hey, Randy, we found a big bull for you. He's only five miles away. <laughs> That's a really nice one. <laughs> what did you see, bud? We just saw another elk. A really nice bull. We got elk everywhere. Got 21 over there. Got 19 down there with two bulls. We had five over there with two spikes. Now we got five over further with a really big bull. We got three down on the bottom. So we got elk everywhere. It's exciting. And it's freezing up here. So tomorrow's the day. So excited. Whew. Keep myself calm. Keep myself calm. We got about another 20 minutes of glassing. I think we'll get out of here. The moon's coming up. And uh, saw a bunch of 21 elk feed out. And then they bedded down, so kind of think that they're doing some feeding late at night and um, or longer in the morning. So, yeah, we're doing it. Getting ready. Dude, <laughs> opening days tomorrow. <sighs> All year. You want some hot sauce? I got, I'm gonna use some of this stuff. You that gotta, was... you, you, if you follow bows, yeah, you gotta bite a little bit off the end to hold your hot sauce when you do it. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, so this is... Guaranteed to, to kill an elk. Yes. Bo promised if he ate that pickled egg with some of that pucky on top, he'd kill an elk. <laughs> and here's what I don't like. Pickled things and hard boiled eggs. Here's to downed elk tomorrow. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to convince himself that he really loves pickled food. But we can tell otherwise. Yeah, the first bite's not so bad until you put it in your mouth. <laughs> Randy, what are, you, what are you in this for? I'm in the mood for Michael's lasagna. Alright, you know, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I think what we need to do, yeah, that works. And then you just slide it out like that. Slicker than deer guts on a doorknob right <laughs> yeah. there. Look at that. I hope that that was at least like 800 calories. I think it is. Man. Bunch of carbs, bunch of cheese. This 800 calories? Yeah, yeah you're more like 2,000. Nice. Even yeah. better. I've eaten about 400. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's quite the layer. I don't think it's gonna. Nice job, man. In the bag, it doesn't look that big. 